Hi, and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In this Reaper tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can create our own custom screen sets to work with multiple different layouts in Reaper. These are great ways of setting up your interface to work with the various different ways you're going to work inside Reaper. So things like when you're recording, you don't want certain elements on screen, when you're mixing, and things like that. So let's take a look at how easy it is to do that. So the first thing I'm going to show you are a couple of the screen sets that I've got configured for my particular way of working. I've got this screen set, which is my normal interface layout, which gives me the sliders at the bottom. So I've got my faders and my basic inf information. I can see four or five different tracks at the top. And I've got my master channel on the left-hand side, so I can see all my main peak meters and things like that. So this is my general workspace, where I can mix a little bit and adjust the levels and things like that. If I'm gain staging and things, and when I'm editing. When I'm recording, I don't need to see all the sliders at the bottom. So I've got a different layout for that. So if I just press my keyboard shortcut, you can see that gets rid of the bottom section of my screen and just gives me the basic layout with the master channel on the left hand side. I've got another layout where I get rid of the master channel. And again, like I say it's a pretty clean layout. And if I'm mixing, I don't need to see my channels. I just need to work on the sliders and things like that. So I can show my effects and I can adjust all my levels and things. And you can see I've got a minimized version to get rid of all of the clutter. So I've got lots of different ways of, of laying my screen out for dual screens and things like that. Now you work in, in a different way to me probably, but this is a great way of setting up your various different workspaces to be able to call them back out quickly and easily with a simple keyboard shortcut that is comfortable for you. So let's take a look at how we access these particular layouts and how we can configure them our own way and how we can save them and call them back up. So let's just check out the screen sets. As with almost everything inside Reaper, we've got a basic keyboard shortcut to access these, or we can use the menu option. The keyboard shortcut on the Windows is Control and E, and that will bring up the screen sets dialog box. Alternatively, we can go into the view menu, and we can come down and we can say that we want to have screen sets layouts. And that'll bring the same dialog box up for us. So you can see I've got quite a few different ones set up on here for me. And this gives you some basic options. We can name it, we can give it the load key, which is our keyboard shortcut. And if we adjust the way that this is laid out, we can also apply a save key so we don't have to come back into this dialog box to save the alterations we may make to it. So you might find that when you're tweaking your layout, you might start off with something that's, that's yeah, it's almost there. But as you're going through and you're adjusting the position of things and the sizes and you're playing about with the different theme you're using, instead of having to come back in this, you can just use the, in my instance, Shift and F7, Shift and F8 and so on, and whatever I decide to assign to the, the save keys. So let's take a look at what we can do with these different options. So I'm just going to move this off to the side so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make some simple alterations to my layout. So we'll just say I want to see a little bit more. And I want to use a different layout for for this area. So I could just go up to my options and I'll just say go to my layout and then just adjust to this. Now this is theme specific, so you may find that you don't have control over these these different things. But for me I do. So I'm just gonna adjust those. So you can see we've got a different look. And we expand that. So I've now configured a layout that I think oh it's just, it's just quite cool. I think I'll save this now so I can call it back up. So if I bring this back in, we can assign a keyboard shortcut to this. Now, so what I need to do is, if I don't want to change one I've already pre-designed pre and laid out, I can just choose an empty slot, and I can just hit save. What this will do is, it'll say, please give it a name. And we'll just call this one test layout. And we'll click on save. Now this is giving it a name, and we can call it back up by using this dialog box. But we haven't assigned a keyboard shortcut to it yet. So we need to do that next. So to do that, all we need to do is come back to the screen sets and layouts dialog box, select the screen set that we want to apply a shortcut to, and then simply click on edit shortcuts in the bottom right hand corner of this dialog box, and that'll bring up the actions palette. Now you can see we've got a whole host of different options available to us down, down here, and you can see the pre predefined ones that I've done previously, F7, F8, 9, 10, and so on. So what we can do now is we can simply simply select the layer that we want, which in this instance is screen set uh, number 7. So we can see if we look on the original dialog box, we've got 7. So we can select that. That gives us the option now to 
add a keyboard shortcut. So I can click on add. And this will bring this up. And what it will do is it will allow us to specify exactly what keyboard shortcut we want. And all we need to do is press the key on the keyboard that corresponds to the particular shortcut that we want to apply to this. And that will assign it. If we want to add any special extra keys on there, we can do. But we're just going to keep this simple and we'll just apply uh, F11 to it. Now what this will do is it will warn you if something else has been applied to the F11 keyboard shortcut, which as you can see I've got toggle full screen. So I'm going to say no for this one because I don't want to override it, but obviously you would say yes if it's a keyboard shortcut that you want to use. And then once you've done that, you click on close, and that will then apply that to your keyboard shortcut for that screen set. And it's as simple as that. You can create up to 10 of these, and they're a great way of, like I say, ensuring that you can set your screen up as you want to work to make your work process quick and easy and you can quickly flip between the different layouts, the different setups just by using a keyboard combination. That's the basics of screen sets. I recommend giving them a try and I'm sure you'll find them very, very useful. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you found something useful in it. Please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and be kept up to date with all of the new videos that are released for Reaper and lots of other tutorials. And until next time, take care.